Developing now for the first time ever, Georgia high school student athletes can profit off their name, image and likeness because a rule change just went into effect this month. WTOC Shay Schrader is joining us in the studio. Shay, you spoke to Georgia High School Association about this. What's the reasoning behind this rule change? I mean, Aria, it's a whole new world and this is all about really just keeping up with the times according to the GHSA. Now, when the NCAA opened the door for NIL deals in college in 2021, high school Schools actually started to follow suit and with this ruling in Georgia that makes it the 30th state to allow NIL compensation at the high school level. But in speaking with the GHSA, they actually don't think that it's going to change that much. We're talking about a small, small percentage of students that are going to to do this. So far, that's true. According to Hines, since student athletes in Georgia gained the ability to be compensated for their name, image and likeness less than two weeks ago, only four have struck deals. John Sanders, the athletic director for the Savannah Chatham County Public School System, says none of their athletes have notified them of any deals yet. However, he wants them to be aware of the rules if they do get an opportunity. The GHSA bylaw says that students can't wear a school uniform or use their school's name in any promotional content. It also says that payment can't be contingent on athletic performance and it can't be given as an incentive to play for a specific school. Sanders says that students have to report any deals to the district within seven days and the district will then report it to the GHSA. Otherwise, student eligibility could be affected. They need to communicate with their high school athletic director or, or our office um, or even a lawyer to, to get some advice to make sure they're not doing anything that's going to jeopardize not only their um, eligibility in high school, that could po but that could possibly jeopardize something in college later on down the road. Hines says that though there is always potential for violation of the rules, he doesn't foresee it becoming an issue at this level. We're going to work really hard to make sure that everybody is educated of what this is, what our policy says. It's pretty cut and dried. So far, I haven't been able to locate any Savannah area student athletes that have made NIL deals, but it could happen in the future. And if it does, there are concerns that there could be some inequity among those who get deals and those who don't. Coming up on the next half hour of the News at Daybreak, I'm taking a look at Athletic Director Sanders' concerns and whether the GHSA has those same fears. For now, Shay Schrader, WTOC News.